So what can people do about this? I see, I feel a sense of futility. I know the New Paradigm Institute's got this Citizens for Disclosure initiative. What, what are you hoping to achieve through Citizens for Disclosure? What, what we're going to do, uh, Ross, is we're going to set up these action teams uh, in each of the 435 congressional districts uh, and also in each of the 50 states. And we're going to have these people contacting their congresspeople and senators to put wind under their wings because a vast majority of the United States senators, both Republican and Democratic, want this this transmit, uh, information transmitted to them. Uh, this being with I'll, right I'll, I'll agree with that, actually. Uh, I mean, as you know, I was in Washington a couple of weeks ago and I was privileged to be able to walk the halls of Congress. I actually had senators on one occasion grabbing me and saying, you're that guy that did the Grush interview. Great work. Really want you to know we're in on this. We're really committed. And interestingly, these aren't senators who are publicly known to be expressing support for the UAP issue. These are people who quietly behind the scenes are now supporting a bipartisan push for disclosure. That's right. And, and one of them is Chuck Schumer, who is the majority leader of the Senate. Uh, and in fact, uh, this uh, by March 20th, there's going to be a major rally out in front of his offices in New York City uh, on 47th and 3rd Avenue, uh, you know, cheering him on uh, for the fact that he sponsored the Schumer uh, bill. Uh, you know, the, 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 that's why we need to cheer them on. And it's, it's not that we've got to browbeat them into doing something they don't want to do, but we've got to overcome the resistance of just a tiny handful of some of the key chairpersons, you know, who are, you know, basically in the pocket of the private aerospace industry.